it's basically about a guy who makes his living writing other people's suicide notes. Um, he, uh, he has a tendency to go to the funerals of some of his deceased clients, uh, because sometimes they'll read suicide notes at, uh, at funerals. And he wants to see how his words are being, you know, appreciated by, uh, by, by the audience, which in this case are the mourners. So um, he happens to meet the sister of his deceased client at one of these funerals, and they start to uh, have a relationship um, where, whereby he has to basically hide the fact that, you know, hide his day job from her. At the same time that he's meeting her, he uh, has another client played by Ray Romano, I play a character, his name is Abel, and uh, he's, I think it's safe to say he's a little depressed, going through a little bit of a tough time, and he, be, he seeks out this writer whose occupation is writing suicide notes for people, and um, they strike up a friendship, uh, and they end up kind of helping each other, because each of them has have issues. Essentially his relationship, whereas before he always kept his relationship with his clients very much at arm's length because, you know, he writes their stuff and then he lets them go, his world is sort of turned upside down by this new relationship that he has with this woman and uh, through that he begins to become closer with, with this client of his and so it's kind of the story of uh, his relationship with his new client and his relationship with this woman as uh, he tries to basically keep, you know, the truth about how he really knows her and how he's really in her life, you know, from her, so. What I liked about the script was it was dark, it was funny, it was smart, and it was, and the character was different from what people recognize me as as TV, on TV, but, but not so different that you're gonna alienate some of the people who are coming because they know you and are familiar with you. And it's weird to have to pick a script like that, pick a character like that, but it's, uh, it's hard. It's hard after you've been on TV and you've been in everybody's living rooms uh, uh, to get them to accept you as something else. So this, I felt, was this character, uh, you know, there was a lot going on there. Uh, he, he was, uh, you know, tormented and, and uh, a little bit tortured, but he was also funny, but not trying to be funny. You know, so I think the audience still kind of pulled for him and still liked him, even though he was a little twisted. Uh, so all of that was interesting to me. The reactions that I'm getting from people has been really amazing. The great equalizer about Sundance is that y'all have to, you basically all have to take shuttle buses. <laughs>